Look at this craziness. Space was a gap down that blasted up. Did a deep pullback right here. I tried to take it long and it failed off. I did some scalping in here, didn't get anywhere. And then, um, hold on. I tried it again right here. Obviously it was a chase, way too early, 12 o'clock. I mean, it's not too early. No, it should have dropped around 11, but it was way too, the stock was way too strong, even though it didn't look like it here. So I don't know why I should have traded these longs. Look at this ridiculous, man. I just couldn't get my mind wrapped around these things here. When they would come down like this and then blast back up, but it's pretty obvious in hindsight. So anyway, scalped it right here. did pretty good. You can see I'm in 25 cent increments here. So it's like 25 cents, but then here's the big daddy of them all. I said, all right, I'm tired of this thing. It's freaking done. Scalped it. I mean, shorted it. Got profit here. So that was almost 50 cents. And then said, okay, look at that. It didn't even pop back over the freaking 20. Didn't even come back over 75. I'm nailing it. So I nailed it here with like a couple thousand shares. And that's why I was taking profit so quick down. What happened was the market started dumping with the stock and I had two stocks going at once. And I'm clicking back and forth and I was getting all confused. And the other stock, I closed it out way too soon. I, I accidentally, because one of my ladders was on like a couple hundred shares. One was on a hundred and I don't know. That's what I do, like a hundred, a hundred. This one was 200, 200. So check this other one out. Skills. I don't, man, I used to love to trade this. I haven't been trading it lately. You can see how flat it's been. Um, I pulled it up on the scanner. Longed it and it came back on me in this flag. I guess, well, I, I guess it's not done with the flag yet, so I closed it out. Then I longed it again, out. it came back on me weekly, right away. Then I longed it again and I was skittish, so I closed it out too early. I missed like half the trade because I wanted to short it. And then that's what I did here shorted it, got 25 cents. The same thing as the other one. I said, all right, these things are done now. They've had their last little pop-up. Look at this volume. Here's my clue right here. Big old volume, but not really that much of a run comparatively. Look at look how big these runs are on lower volume. And look at this huge volume pop right here and just a small little candle. Huge volume pop and got nailed right back down. This is the one I got back out of. And then when it, or I got back out of it right here, then when it popped here, I missed this and then closed it out right in here. I still got like, I don't know, 25, 30, maybe 40 cents. But this was the big short right here. I mean, to me, it's a no-brainer. I mean, the lines hadn't crossed yet, but if you wait that long. Actually, I, no, this is when I nailed it right here. This was like a no-brainer. But I didn't expect it to drop that much. Actually, I did. I had some of my targets down here. This was my target. But what happened was I was flipping back and forth between the other two stocks, clicking the ladder close them out. That's how I close them out. Like when it drops real quick, I got to recenter the ladder and then click right here to close out whatever I'm set on, like 200. And you, can, you can't like click really fast, like 2468. It only lets you click like once a second. So it's like 200, 400, 600. So you can't get rid of them all at once. Um, but I like it that way because I don't want to take too, if I set my profit, like if I have a thousand shares, and I have my deal set at 500, I'll close half of it out right away, way up here, and I'll be screwed. So I, I like to take a little profit, see what happens. Take a little more profit, see what happens. It helps me a lot too if they, like say I shorted this and they come down and start bouncing, I take a little profit. No, it ain't gonna break. Comes down again, I take a little more. And by the time it pops up, I'm pretty much out, so I don't lose anything, but I'm keeping shares in case it does break down. But anyway, those were the two best trades of the day. And then AMD, AMD was the, actually the best trade of the day. I killed it. But AMD later on in the day, I can't trade it. It, it just moves like five or 10 cents. It gets so annoying. You gotta trade it in the first thing in the morning before like 10.30. But you can see the mess here. It also was pretty much flat, but I, I always just keep it on my board usually if I got room. Let's see, or keep it on my charts. I don't know why I call it my board. So look at this move. I don't know why I can't take those. I'm not a candle trader. I've tried a million times 
over the first time. I just never, what happens when I take these is they pop up, I go, wow, that thing's running, it's A and B, it should run. And then it dumps back here and I end up losing. I just can't do those, I gotta wait for a pattern. So you can see I chased it up here, closed it out, immediately shorted it. I don't know if I chased it or went the wrong way. Anyway, I shorted it here all the way down through here. So that was uh, somewhere around 50, 50 cents. 50 all the way down to 99 area. And then I let it play around with this VWAP here and then nailed it again for another 50 cents. Longed it here for another 40 cents and then shorted it here for another 20, 30 cents and said, no, it's too, it's too dinking around now. I can't do it. I can't stay in these trends. They, they just get, when the stuff like this happens, I just like, nah, I'm closing it out. Because what happens is like, I'll get in here. Say I go long right here for the reversal, which I, li I like to do. I love to go long for a reversal. Look, you got a shoulder, a head, a shoulder, inverse head and shoulder. You got all these pings down. It's a reverse. I know it's a reversal. I'm, I know that. But what happens is I go long here. It pops up. I'm like, all right, great. You know what? It just came near the VWAP. I bet you this piece of crap's going to dump all the way back off on me. And either come back and do another bottom or fail for the day. So I just close it out here with a small loss. That's what I'll do every time. And then they blast off. And then I've tried waiting, you know, for like cup and handle or wait for them to hit the VWAP and pull it. Just, I can't get it. I can't do it. I guess I'm just avoiding them. Sometimes I still try them. I'm trying to learn them. These reversals, I just take small share size. But I'm best at stuff like this. I missed this one. I was in those other two trades. But still, even though with my crazy scalping methods, I, this was the best trade of the day. It's because of share size. I load up on it because I'm comfortable with the stock. Uh, it was like 312, which was good for today because it was a flat day. And then Skills was a couple hundred, and Nicola was I don't know, a couple hundred. And I had a few hundred here and there, and Apple and EO and things like that. Neo, you can see here, I tried a bunch of crazy stuff. I don't know. I tried to short it here. Well, I did short it here. Waited through all this, nailed it again here, got it down through here, and you can see that's the bottom of the deal here. It was just going sideways, and these flags are really long and weak, so I didn't think it was going to do anything. So, you know, you can see it's just kind of drifted inside. I figured it was going to do this until the 9 pinched into the 20, and then it should have reversed. No, nope, I missed the biggest drop. So, I traded it again. Oh, I lo I longed it. What did I do? Longed it, stopped out. That's what it was. I didn't get my stop in the right spot. I had it too close. I was like, dang it! So I longed it again over this. Yeah, I don't know. I got 20 cents or something. Shorted it back down to here. Yeah, there's another 15, 20 cents. Yeah, I just got I just kept picking at it. Look, short, short, down there. So there's 30. There's another 20 cents. Short. No, I don't like how it's acting. Boom, pops up. Of course, I was in those other trades when this happened. But I just kept chopping on it because I couldn't find any trades. If I can't find any trades, I'll just start scalping 10 to 20. I mean, I'll scalp whatever it gives me. I, but I'll take as little as 10 cents, depending on how many shares. I've taken five to seven cents with several thousand shares, just to, you know, whatever, on bucks. So anyway, green day.